Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It's May the, f oh, it's Cinco de Mayo. Hello. Um, so we have, let me do one page at a time. We have uh, the beginning of chapter 11. Chapter 11 is actually finding like volume of things. And it is um, looking at three-dimensional objects. So three, a three-dimensional shape has depth. So it's not a flat piece of paper. It'd be like a box, a cube, right? Uh, a pyramid is a triangular prism. Um, uh, the building in um, on the East Coast, the Pentagon, that's a, a prism. It's a pentagonal prism. So it has depth, in, and um, we're going to learn about uh, their how to name them, how to classify them, and find the volume, find the area. So there's lots going on with the with this chapter. And this is our last chapter before we are done um, for the year. So that's really nice too. Yay. All right, so let's get started. Um, I've got this uh, some vocab words. We're going to use Euler. You say Euler, like ruler with an E. Euler's formula in three-dimensional figures. So first we're going to just talk about three-dimensional figures and then I'm going to introduce to you what Euler's formula is. Okay, so um, the words that you're going to need to know for this lesson. Uh, an edge. An edge is the line where two... I'm going to call them planes because it's a... It's, um, they're called faces, but for you, no, right now it's a plane. It's the flat surface, the flat side where two planes intersect. So obviously an edge, you know, I mean, an edge of a box, an edge of a cliff. It's a, it's a line, right? Um, an edge is also a line segment for these purposes, it's, there's, see, there's no arrows. These shapes don't go on forever and ever in all directions. They have a starting point and a stopping point. Uh, the face, a face is the, a flat surface that um, it's like a rectangle or a triangle or a square. So the face is, um, I'll call it the flat side, but it's gonna be like a square on some shapes can be a rectangle, it can be a triangle, it could be a pentagon hexagon. I think I just better write n gone because it, it, you know maybe you'll have six sides, maybe I'll create one that has seven sides, it'll look super difficult to draw, but it can exist. And then a vertices, a vertex, a vertices is the, um, it's not a corner of two planes, but it is a, a point where an edge, where edges meet. So a vertice, vertex, would be like here, 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 and look behind here. Okay, so. What we're going to go through now is we're going to uh, go through this chart and kind of fill in everything and talk about the, the faces, the edges, and all of that. So here we go. A triangular prism. Okay, so there's the pyramid I was talking about, but here's another type of triangular prism. So a triangular prism, how many faces does it have? Faces. Faces are the flat surfaces. So it's like the front triangle and the back triangle. Those are the two triangles in the prism. So I have a triangle, a triangle, and then I have these rectangles. One rectangle goes downward this way, another rectangle goes downward this way, and then the third rectangle is on the bottom. Okay, so that's going to be five faces of the triangular prism. Um, a vertex is the corner. That's where I put the dots earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices. And then an edge. An edge is one, 
two, three. So when you're doing this, I want you to go like in order. Notice how I didn't go top edge and then down. I stuck in a pattern. Like I'm going to surround the triangle. One, two, three. Then I'm going to do some rectangular sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine edges, All right? Rectangular, this is just like a gift box, right? The boxes that all those Amazon packages come in, those are all rectangular prisms, right? So we just count the faces. My face is gonna be, I'm gonna have a square, a square, top and bottom, right? Top and bottom. And then I have rectangle left, rectangle back, rectangle right, rectangle front, four rectangles. I'll just do rectangle times four. That's gonna be six faces. A verde, verde, vertex, vertices, you just count them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertex, eight vertices. And an edge, okay? So let's do the square first. One, so this is my edges. One, two, three, four, top square, bottom square, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm gonna go up and down. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Let me do it again. Edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and you see that? All right, um, go to my pentagonal prism. In my pentagonal prism, my faces are gonna be the top pentagon. These are kind of like weird to draw, but bottom pentagon, right? Then, I'm going to do all the rectangles that are along the side. Top pentagon, bottom pentagon, and then rectangles. Front, one, two, back, three, back, four, side, five. Two plus five, there's five rectangles. Seven faces. Okay, let's do vertices, vertex like little points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten vertex. Now the pattern that we've done so far is that the faces, vertex, edges, like they all go in order from least to greatest. It's gonna happen. And the edges is always the biggest number. So that's gonna happen again here. An edge is gonna be a line where the two planes connect. Okay, it's like a line segment, right? So I'm going to count them all up and I have to be very careful not to miss any. Okay, there's five on top, top pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Bottom pentagon, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I need to go up and down. How tall, how many are there that go up and down? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, very good. All right, here it is, last one, hexagonal. Okay, six sides, and of course, this isn't even a normal, regular hexagon. This is just wonky and weird, but it doesn't matter. We can still add up all of the pieces of information we need. So here's what we need. We need the faces, okay. Front and back, those are the hexagonals. So there's two, and you know, they're not even hexagons, but if it were a hexagon, it'd look like this. 
it were like a regular hexagon, it would look this times two of them, front and back, right? <clears throat> then I'm going to go around and I'll do like top, top, side, bottom, bottom. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's eight faces. All right. Next are my vertex, vertices. My vertices, corners, little points. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve. Okay. Edges. All right. Hmm. On the hexagon, the front and the back, there's six, six edges. One, two, three, four, five, six in front. Now this back hexagon also has six, so that's 12. Then I got to do my rectangles going back, 12. Six in front, six on the hexagon, so that's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, now, there's a pattern to this. There's a trick, there's some rhyme and reason, okay? Here's what it is. It is Euler's formula. The faces plus my vertices equals two more than my edges. Edges plus two. Look, five plus six equals 11. And then 9 plus 2 equals 11. Yay! 6 plus 8 is 14. And that's 12 plus 2. 14. 14, 14. 7 plus 10. 7 plus 10 equals my edges and then add two more. 15 plus 2. 17 equals 17. 8 plus 12 equals 18 plus two. Okay, so these are all really good looking um, shapes and everything has rhyme and reason to it. Okay, this um, is Euler's formula. So Euler's formula is from this man, Lenhard, it could be Lenhard, uh, and he had this discovery about 1740s, okay? So that's the little history of it. Okay, and then again it says, the faces and the vertices added together equals its number of edges at plus two. All right, so let's, so we've got this page done. We're gonna go uh, turn to page two. Okay, let me get, here we go. Okay. This figure below show, show, what? Gah, what is that? Shows a regular hexahedron. It has six faces and eight vertices. How many edges does a regular hexahedron have? Okay. So, Faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. Six faces plus eight vertices equals, I don't know how many edges, but it's two more. 14 equals the number of edges. That's what I'm trying to find, plus two. Anyways, subtract two both sides, right? Edges is 12. Um, and you're probably thinking, this is dumb. I could have counted it. <laughs> you're right. You could have. You could have counted it. But you need to know how to practice the formula. So that is important. Okay, here we go. To make a polyhedron-shaped game piece, 
using a 3D printer, Juanita enters the number of faces, edges, and vertices into the program. If she wants a game piece with 20 faces and 30 edges, how many vertices does the piece have? Okay, here's what she wants. Now here's what we know. Faces plus vertices equals edges plus two. She wants 20 faces. And 30 edges. I don't know V. 30 edges. Okay, again, this is not hard. 20 plus, I don't know how many vertices, but it's 32. So I'm going to subtract 30 from, I'm sorry, I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. Uh, 12 vertices. Okay. So, um, Obviously, you can draw the shape, but it's kind of hard to draw the shape. And we actually um, are practicing drawing ne tomorrow, the next day. So um, let's just use Euler's formula for this, and let's we're going to practice our drawing tomorrow. So here's the homework. The homework is page three. It's short, but you know I need to get the point across, and I don't need to kill you with twenty problems. So here's the homework, and this is what you will attach, and this is what you will turn in. So this is 11.1a, and this is for Tuesday, Cinco de Mayo. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.